Machen wir weiter. So, die Fliegen sind immer noch da. Wir haben jetzt mit der Schwester des Polizisten geredet, die anscheinend äh, sie persönlich kannte, das Opfer. Gut, ich meine, nein, statt hier kennt jeder jeden persönlich. Reden wir mal mit unseren beiden Cowboys hier. Q. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? Ja, Melin ist schon wieder da. I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you. But it means Dankeschön. the death of a friend to me. And I want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself. Quint. How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. I also know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, <coughs> I do. Okay? <laughs> okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can read him like a book, Zach. Genial. Und dann haben wir hier noch Suspect. Nummer 2. Wir hören anscheinend zum selben Dart Club wieder an. You're York, right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the Darts Bar. Swery 65. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. Murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all. Just like her mother, Sally. What do you know about Sally? Well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at home right now, trying to make peace with it all. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. Mit dem Fliegen sind die Gespräche gleich noch viel besser. Äh, was wollte ich sagen? Ich weiß nicht mehr. Danke, Ramsey, für die, für die, fürs Auffüllen, Wiederauffüllen des Glases. Damit es nicht zu leer wird. Asha kennen wir ja schon. Reden wir trotzdem mit ihm. Agent York, you make any progress? Of course, plenty. And tell me, Asha, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Sally isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Her mother? I don't see her here. Anna was her sole reason for living after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Uh, but don't go too hard on her, okay? So, mach's gut, vollen Crusader. Gute Nacht. Vorher noch eine Frage an die Community um Merlin. Wer ist der beste YouTuber in der gesamten Galaxie mit der besten Frau an seiner Seite? Meine Stimme für Landsquid. Ja, Ramsey gibt 25 Stimmen dafür ab. <lacht> Ist der Hock, als stimmt mit ein. Dankeschön. Nett von euch. Fiona, mal schauen, was die zu sagen hat. Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well. Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo. 
But I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day. But I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he already made a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zack. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Äh, warum kommen die in Arbeitsklamotten? Aber okay, äh, ich auch. Ich muss auch immer an diese Gimme the Bits Szene aus Steven Universe denken. Vielleicht muss ich die mal irgendwo rausschneiden. Vielleicht kriege ich die in Videoform. Dann kann ich die mal einspielen, wenn jemand Bits spendet. Ja, Bits. Ähm, der ist direkt aus einem Metal Gear Spiel, oder? Der Charakter. Mal schauen. Old Snake. So you're the FBI agent, are you? Der General, Schrottplatzbesitzer. I'm FBI Otto. Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm the General. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore, not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happened in this town. It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> You kids today don't even know how to ask for something, right? Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Ah. Uh Suzu. -huh. Can you tell me if you noticed anything strange about Anna before the incident? Well, I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything, no matter how small, could be of help. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway, Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill her? It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. A criminal, for whom he sich im Schrank versteckt hat and auf den er nicht geschossen hat, <laughs> weil er wahrscheinlich kugelsicher ist oder so. Irgendwie passen diese Horrorsequenzen auch so überhaupt nicht zum Rest des Spiels, auch von der Narrative her. Das ist irgendwie bizarr. Der Koch, der unfreundliche Koch mit seinen schmutzigen Hosen. I'm US Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> Nick? Are you hiding something? No, nothing. You're sure? I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. I mean, who knows? That's also a little bit of the technique of the game, that everyone looks a little bit younger than they really are, because the faults are just hard to find and so. Maybe he's younger than he looks. Uh, Älter als er aussieht, der Vietnam-Veteran. Schlangenhosen-Hugo. 
I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People around here call me the gunsmith. Cool. Wir werden uns noch öfter sehen, wahrscheinlich. <laughs> Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. Ach so, ich soll auf A drücken. Hier ist alles, was ich habe. Ich kann gleich hier... Nee, warte mal, das ist das... Die 10mm Maschinenpistole habe ich doch schon, oder? Das ist die gleiche. Ich, deswegen bin ich jetzt verwirrt, ob das mein Zeug ist oder sein Zeug. Aber die habe ich schon ziemlich sicher. Leuchtsignal brauche ich nicht, Lutsch habe ich auch. Ich kaufe mal noch ein bisschen Munition, oder? Ne, ich kann nichts mehr tragen. Nur dann... Schön, dass der seine Waffen mitnimmt zur Versammlung oder sowas. What? Keine Ahnung. Crusader, danke schön für die Bits. Ähm. Was kein Gegenkandidat. Was? Was kein. Was, was keine Gegenkandidaten so eine Einigkeit brauchen. Um im Parlament auch. Was? Gute Nacht, auf jeden Fall, vollen Crusader. Ach so, wegen der Frage, wer der beste YouTuber ist oder so. Ich verstehe. Gute Nacht, mach's gut. <lacht> Irgendwie wird die Qualität äh, besser und besser. Ich sehe, wie die bei mir im Programm, wie die, wie die, Dro äh, die Framerate Drop Rate immer niedriger und niedriger wird. Ist jetzt langsam von 15 auf 12 Prozent gesunken. Ist wohl wirklich irgendwas mit unserem Internet oder so, keine Ahnung. Oder ob es Twitch selbst ist. Auf jeden Fall wird es besser. Hoffentlich bleibt so. Oder wird sogar noch besser. Okay, äh, dann kaufen wir nichts. Dankeschön. You've got quite a selection here. No wonder people come from all around. Even today a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. I'd like for you to take a look at my gun. Understood. Look forward to it. The shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. Was nachts hat der nur geöffnet? Von 20 bis 6 Uhr morgens. Na meinetwegen. Ist okay. Der kann vielleicht unsere Waffe sogar upgraden. Wir haben doch gerade gesagt, der, der unseren Revolver soll er sich anschauen. Interessant, interessant. Ich bin so gespannt, wer du bist. Aber es reden wir erstmal mit ihr hier. <laughs> Is he it's the You're Mutter Isaac and Isaiah's mother? No. Yes, ah, I'm Lily. Von den Kindern, die die Leiche gefunden God, haben, ist sie die Mutter. Ja, yeah, creepy. <laughs> I'm FBI Special Agent... Agent York, right? You are good. <laughs> the handsome special agent from the big city. The facial scar trademark. The way you introduce yourself, everyone's talking about you. Well, I can't say much about the scar. But the way I introduce myself, Zack and I consider it a kind of ritual of sorts. Everyone has their own rituals. It's like always leaving the house left foot first. It's one of those things. <laughs> you certainly are a funny one. So have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Well... Becky's been taking a couple of days off from work, but aside from that, I heard she was in shock after the murder. But... You think there's something else? Well, I took the boys along to see her today. She's always so kind to them, and they love seeing her too. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Thank you, Lily. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zack. Auf wen wir morgen schon alles besuchen müssen. Naja, den Waffenhändler und Becky bis jetzt. Aber trotzdem. Yeah! Okay. Hey there, FBI. I'm Keith Ingram. Hey, 
FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. Okay, York. No problem, man. So, Keith. I hear you run the milk bar and convenience store. That's right, man. Rock and roll! Do you sell raincoats there by any chance? Yeah, but nobody ever buys them, though. Anyone who wears one of them, I say, just ain't a rocker. But you know, that scar of yours, now that scar rocks. This scar rocks? <laughs> now that's a new one. I'll drop by your store soon, and let's talk then. Yeah, cool, man. Rock on, FBI! Okay. Darf ich die Medaille nehmen oder muss die Polly noch ein bisschen genauer begutachten? Weil sie offensichtlich nicht auf das Gemälde guckt, sondern auf diese Medaille hier. Ja. <lacht> ich nehme sie jetzt trotzdem weg. Tut mir leid, Polly. Ich brauche das Geld. Es ist für die Staatssicherheit oder so. Wir kennen uns ja schon. Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Really? Thank you, Polly. You reminded me a little of a play I saw when I was younger. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. He'd always pretend to be uninterested. But I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Really, Polly. So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. His eyes were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. I see. So, what's your favorite play? Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have another guest soon. I have to get back and get things ready. Sorry for having to hurry away. I'll see you back at the hotel. <laughs> Zach, I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI's interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zach. Amazing. 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 Ach, that is so toll, Polly. Um... Ah, ich kann mich an sie erinnern. Sie hat eine Reihe von Sidequests, wo ich sie immer verdammt schnell von A nach B bringen muss, damit ihr Eintopf nicht kalt wird oder sowas in der Art. Oh my, my pot is getting cold. Die Streunerin Sigoni. Hey, Mister. My pot is getting cold. You are... who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. 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 Okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Oh, you're useless. Zach, we've met all sorts today, but really, she takes the cake. Amazing. Amazing. Äh, was in dem Topf ist der Färbma? War erst, wenn man ihre Questreihe beendet hat. Ähm, ein eigener Fall für sich. Stimmt's, Jim? Jim, thanks for your help in the forest. How are Isaac and Isaiah? They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Besser well, I guess they do, Danke fürs Raiden. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? <laughs> I have to, in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. 
I'd think the same if I was born in a place like this, Zack. Dass diese winzige Narbe an der Backe von ihm so ein Gesprächsthema in der Stadt ist, das muss die langweiligste Kleinstadt ever sein. <lacht> ja. Oh, ich bin schon gespannt auf die beiden. Sie kommt direkt aus Dead or Alive und er auch vielleicht. <lacht> ja, die Wackelohrhasen wird hey, good looking. Nice speech. Doch, gibt es eigentlich schon. Alert. Weiß nicht. And you are? Manchmal spinnt. Oh, I'm Gina. I'm married to Jack. He runs the gas station. Call me the Rose. You look pretty revealing. Oh, <laughs> this old thing. Oh, you should see some of my other clothes. You? Oh, now you are cool. That scar really is a turn on. You should come to my station. I'll give you a little extra service. That would be great. I can't believe how expensive gasoline is nowadays. Some extra service would be great. Now, about my current case. Do you have any information on Anna? Have you seen anything suspicious? Oh, I don't know. Talk to my hubby about the difficult stuff, okay? <laughs> this is getting us nowhere, Zach. She has not only the deepest part of the world, and she has also her hose open. Jetzt sogar einen, einen Schrittausschnitt. Äh, Raiden heißt, dass jemand mit seinen aktuellen Zuschauern in einen anderen Stream reinkommt quasi und die aktuellen Zuschauer mitnimmt. Okay, dann fehlt noch du. Fehlt noch du. Na dann. I got nothing to tell the cops. Der rasende Stier, check. Der Tankstellenbesitzer. Ich What about the FBI? Sind. Shut up. At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. If you want info, it'll cost you. I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions are important. I can detain you for a few days and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. <laughs> Zack, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Der Synchronsprecher hatte Spaß vom Bull. Oh, sind wir jetzt mit allen durch anscheinend. Okay. Agent Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Stehen anscheinend. Na gut. Okay. Fall abgeschlossen. Fünfeinhalb Stunden. Was? Insgesamt, oder? Insgesamt. Okay. 100, genau 100 besiegte Gegner. Schön. Wir haben fast 10.000 Dollar verdient. Wir sind zwei Tage in dieser kleinen Stadt, haben noch nicht wirklich was gemacht und haben 10.000 Dollar verdient. Ist wahrscheinlich realistisch. <lacht> Vielleicht, ja. Mit Späsen. Kann schon, oder? Mm. Wer weiß. So, als FBI-Agent. Ja, genau. Aber das Gehalt wird einem gekürzt, wenn man stinkt. Wenn man nicht regelmäßig duschen geht, da versteht das FBI keinen Spaß. Well then, Agent York, do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. All right then, let's do that. Uh, hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner? It might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A&G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner. Or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Uh, 
dann essen wir noch. Auch wenn wir stinken, wie sonst noch was. <lacht> Zum Fliegen auch noch was zu essen. Können. Ja, genau. <lacht> noch ein Snack für die Fliegen. Warum nicht? Das ist echt cool. Das heißt, wir haben, wir haben erst im Hotel gegessen, haben dann im Polizeirevier gegessen, haben kurz unsere Rede gehalten, nachdem wir ein bisschen angeln waren und jetzt gehen wir essen. Das ist ein Arbeitstag. Ich bin Sheriff hier für einen langen Zeit. Und das ist der schlimmste Mörder, den ich jemals gesehen habe. Our town is a little odd in some ways, but it's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair share of cases, but just the regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe? Or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor? Nothing more than that. Hi, Quitch. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He cleaned the skulls up and used them as utensils in his daily life, to eat from or as a urine cup. Huh. He hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. He'd fill skulls with ice, cola, and rum, then he'd down it in one gulp. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Oh, man. For me, he was insane. A hundred percent. Drinking from the skulls, well, that is one thing. Those he had used to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from, too. Yeah, that was too much for me. It's just not sanitary. <clears throat> <clears throat> not sanitary? Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over 800 victims. Thank you, Agent York. Now, let's talk about something else. You don't want to hear any more? That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? I was just about to get to the good part, too. It sounds Legend's like you live in a totally different world. I mean, you're like an elite agent who just jumped out from a movie or something. In your eyes, we must look like we're just playing cops and robbers. Ugh, I give up. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Size doesn't matter. There is no big and small. Crimes always have a, a criminal and a victim. No victim will ever welcome a crime, no matter what its size. So fundamentally, there is no difference in size. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You understand that, right? Of course, but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna here in this diner, waiting on tables. <laughs> Excuse us, Agent Morgan. We should have made dinner a more uplifting Thanks experience. <laughs> Let's call it a night. Okay. Good night, then. Uh... Ich frage mich diese Frage so oft, wird das nicht warm mit dieser Hasenmütze auf dem Kopf? Nee, eigentlich gar nicht. Das geht eigentlich momentan noch. Ob ich die dann auch im, im, im Hochsommer trage noch, das ist eine andere Frage. Weil da wird es hier drin dann oft mit, mit Rechnern, die laufen und oft noch eine Konsole und kleines Zimmer heizt sich oft im Sommer ganz schön auf. Da muss ich dann mal schauen. Aber oh, bis jetzt geht's. Okay, dann... 
Wo steht unser Auto? Da hinten steht eins. Dann fahren wir mal in unser Hotel zurück. Morgen haben wir dann echt viel zu tun, glaube ich. Weil jetzt, glaube ich, haben wir quasi die wichtigsten NPCs kennengelernt. Äh, wir können jetzt ganz viele Nebenquests und so weiter machen. Wir können jetzt ganz viel Abenteuer erleben. Yay, Ramsi, dankeschön für die äh, Corgi... Äh, Bits oder Katzen? Ich weiß nicht. Die heißen Corgo. Dann sind es wahrscheinlich Corgis, oder? Was piepst denn da so? Oh, mein Benzin piepst so. Oh, oh, ich hoffe, wir kommen noch mit dem ein bisschen. 8% Sprit noch. Mal schauen. Wenn wir mal auf die Karte schauen, wir müssen jetzt effizient fahren. Okay. Nein, guck. Und schon wäre ich falsch gefahren. Wir fahren die zweite links. Die zweite links, die zweite rechts. Und dann sind wir fast da. Weite rechts. Und dann immer geradeaus. Okay. Es ist echt schade, dass das Spiel nicht mehr Budget hatte. Denn stylisch ist es eigentlich auf dem Punkt. Die Farbpaletten zum Beispiel. Es wirkt alles bunt und gleichzeitig grau in grau. Wenn da mehr Budget hinterstecken würde... Wäre es ein richtig geiles Game. Ja, ich meine, es ist immer die Frage, weil ganz oft, also sobald viel Budget drin steckt, sind dann immer auch Leute dahinter, die wollen, dass das Spiel seine Ausgaben wieder einspielt quasi. Und dann gibt es oft Entscheidungen, Designentscheidungen, die dem Spiel dann eher wieder schaden. Ein Prozent noch. Ja, ein Prozent. Ich glaube, das ist schon ganz cool, dass das so ein Autorenwerk ist. Dass sich einfach dieser Swery hat sich da halt einfach jede Freiheit rausnehmen können und machen können, was er wollte, weil es halt eben gerade so billig ist. Im AAA-Bereich kriegt man halt solche Spiele eher nicht, weil es sich jetzt einfach rentieren muss und man muss einfach ein großes Publikum so. Where shall we go next? ansprechen. Komm schon, wir rollen noch, wir rollen noch bis zum Hotel. <lacht> Ich glaube, wir schaffen es. Ja. <lacht> Aber wirklich gerade so. Ich finde es auch geil, wie die Fliegen auch ums Auto kreisen, während ich drin sitze. Oh Mann. <lacht> 